Hey everybody, this is Sam, Samsterdam Dider, coming to you today with a Unreal Tips and Tricks tutorial covering the power of copy and paste. Now, copy and paste is a pretty easy operation to do, and it's available in most 3D, if not all 3D programs. But one thing that Unreal allows you to do is something a little bit different. Now, before I begin, there's one thing I want to let you guys in on. An Unreal level is actually a giant text pad document. And what I mean by that is if I select this post-process volume that I have right here and I hit control C on my keyboard inside of Unreal I can hit control V and I make another copy of it okay and uh, maybe I hit uh, control C and I open up another level and I I hit control V and I paste in another copy of that if if I need it but one thing that you can do with this stuff is that you can actually store this post-process volume that I have selected here in an offline text file and how do you do that well if I come over here to a notepad document let me uh, just delete this stuff out of here really quick. If I hit Control V, you notice that I paste a bunch of text data. Well, this text data is actually all of the data that Unreal needs to actually construct and give this post-process volume properties. It's more or less all the data that's here when I press F4. And that's what I mean by an Unreal level is a giant text pad document. Because if I was to select every object in this level, it would all be contained within the data that I paste in here. So one of the things that you can do with this, uh, kind of thinking outside of the box, if you will, is if you look here, I have a four, five, and a six that I saved as camera bookmarks to show you the red, green, and blue post-process volumes. Now, what I've done is actually each one of these, I've gone, selected it, hit Control C, Control V, over here in my text pad, and I've made a red, a green, and a blue post-process text document that I've actually saved onto my hard drive for use later on, which is something that you can do for all types of stuff. You can set up a whole range of post-process values and just dump them in your map very quickly and uh, you don't even have to worry about uh, setting the parameters because you've already done it. You do it once, it's it's like that classic saying, you set it and forget it. So let me tell you another way, a real world example about how this can save your butt. Let's say you're working on a level, okay? And uh, you've made some stuff like this and everything's looking good. You're like, man, this is awesome. This uh, tea that I made, it's gonna sell millions. This is great. I'm gonna show it to the boss. In your haste to do everything in the morning because the creative juices were flowing, you forgot to check your source control and you didn't get the latest version of the map. But you've already promised the boss that you could show him your new awesome idea right in the morning meeting in 15 minutes. So what do you do? Well, you, there's a couple things that you could do, but the fastest thing is to grab all the objects that you wanted. Hit control C, come over here to a blank notepad document, paste that information in, shut down Unreal, open up and sync, open up and get the latest map, okay? Come back to your text pad document, hit control C to copy it to your key, uh, your clipboard, and then hit control V to paste it into your level and boom, all your work is there, it's done, it's ready to be saved, built and sent off. So that's how you can use copy and paste creatively to solve some problems that you might have otherwise painted yourself into a corner if you will so that's it guys remember it's copy paste it's control C control V make sure you store it in a text pad document that's all you gotta do it's super simple so thanks for watching thanks for listening I'll see you next time